What's up, my beautiful nieces and my handsome nephews? Welcome back to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic as clowns. Oscar said, what it do, what it do, what it do, what it do. Please keep in mind that this reading may trigger you. It may or may not resonate with your energy. So only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest with somebody else. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let that shit go. If I say he, in your situation, it could be a she. It's not gender specific, okay? So let's just find out what's going on between you and the person you're thinking about. This could be an ex of yours, somebody who you recently broken up with. This could be um, someone you're currently with, but you're in non-communication. Um, it'd be different for everybody. So it's the person, the majority of the time, you guys come here to, uh, my glasses are broken. You come here to find out what's going on with the person you're thinking about. So let's just find out. Again, this may or may not resonate with your energy. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Can you show me the energy surrounding the Divine Collective? What is the energy surrounding the Divine Collective when it comes to the person that they're thinking about? Rejection. Silence. Escape. So whoever this energy is, you may be rejecting this person right now because they could have abandoned you, abandoned the relationship. This person could have built a, a, a stone wall between you and them. Now, this could be somebody who you, you've been with, who you recently broken up with. And I feel like they were, you know, they didn't talk to you. When you asked them questions, you can never get no answers out of them. When you would ask them questions, they it's like they started avoiding you. Yeah, whoever this person is. It's like if if when they were rejecting you, I mean when they were abandoning you, and when you would question them about where they were or what they were doing, they would they would like try to avoid it. Sometime when, and they'll leave and, and it's like, this, this is, this person is whoever this energy is. It's like, when you question them, they use, they use any excuse to leave to answer instead of answering the questions that you, you need from them, the answers, instead of giving you the answers that you, you want from them. It's like, it's, it's something they, it's like, they don't want to tell you something. It's something that this person is hiding. So, let's get a little more. Something about some people or energies that surround them is influencing him. Wow, look at this. Something is trying to stop me. Trying to slow me down and want me to break my bracelet.
Oh, wow. And then it just let go. That is crazy. See, that's the spirit. Yeah. These are some sort of influences. Maybe your person, they could have been rejecting you, going sil silence on you, avoiding you because of their friends. It's some sort of attachment that's around them. Mm -hmm. That's influencing them to reject you. That's influencing them to abandon you. Yeah. Tell me more about these influences. What are the influences? Dishonesty and deception. Pain. Apprehensive. Cautious. Chasing. See, whoever your person is, they had friends out here influencing them to be dishonest, to be deceptive. But that's in reverse now. But it's like the energy of they're still in the pursuit of chasing something. And this has caused them a lot of pain. Yeah. So basically what it's saying... This masculine energy built a stone wall between him and his divine feminine. He was blocking her, pushing her away, avoiding her because he has friends. Somebody may play football or like football. He may be saying that he's going to a football game. He may be saying he's going to watch football, but he's really lying. He's not. I'm going to watch the game with the fellas and shit. They going to watch something else. They doing they out chasing chicks. You know. Yeah. And now this person is 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 in pain because they should have been apprehensive to chasing all these different energies. So this could go right back round back. You know, if I if you look at these cards, it can go right back down to him. Okay. Like, he could have been rejecting you, building a stone wall, um, a wall that you can't get over, too hard for you, to, too high to get over, too low to get under, too far to get around, you know, type of energy, blocking you, avoiding you, listening to these third-party influences, being dishonest and, dishonest and deceptive. Why he's out chasing. And now he's in pain. And now. If the tables turn. And the energy goes back to him. You're rejecting him now. You done put up a wall of silence behind him. You done avoid it. And you're blocking him now. Okay. You may be hanging out with your, your peers. Or your attachments. Or people that influence you. Okay. But your, your people is not. Influencing you to be dishonest or deceptive. Mm -hmm. They may be trying to, you know, influence you to get out and meet other people. Okay. But it's not through being dishonest. Okay. And now this person is in pain. So see, the, the tables will turn when you do people dirty. So now that's some of for some of you. Let's 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 just pick up. We're going to pick up. I'm going to do this three times. So it, it'll be different for everybody. Show me some more energy of what the collective, some of the other divine collective energy that they're going through with the person they're thinking about. Tell me more. But the our energy is, is you all are, are rejecting someone who rejected you. They was out there chasing, blocking you all of this. And, um, now they're possibly in the pursuit of chasing you, and you reject them. Yep, they don't want to chase thrills no more. Apology out here in reverse. You don't want them to return. And they don't want to distance themselves from you. 
Okay, yeah, because whoever this energy is, they're in they're in pain. Okay. They're hurt. And they scared. Because they don't know if you're gonna take them back. They're they're cautious because they don't know if you're gonna cuss them out from what they did and then trying to come back to them. Yeah. But they wanna, you know, it's like they don't they don't wanna chase no more. They they thought you was boring. They like to chase excitement. They like to be around people who's, you know, like to party and all of that type of stuff. So right about now, this person, they may be trying to come apologize to you. Some of you, this may mean it's a fake apology. Some of you, it may mean you're not going to accept their apology. You don't want to return to this person that you're saying, you know, forget they sorries and all of that. And they don't want to be separated from you no more. See, when they when when they blocked you, when they pushed you away and was avoiding you, it's so it was okay. But see, now that you done distanced yourself and separated yourself from this person, you done gave them all the space that they need. You may even have moved to another city, or if you lived in the same city, you moved to a whole nother part of town, and they can't see you, they can't get to you, they don't like that. Mm -hmm. These glasses are crooked. Give me three more, Holy Spirit. Yeah, this person, they're they're waiting for you to return. Oscar just threw them in the tent. This is somebody who apparently they they go out and they do their dirt and they come back and you always take them back. This time you didn't take them back. This person has a big ego. They're a big, you know, they're arrogant. They're stubborn. Mm -hmm. All this person was doing is wasting your time. Some of you may need to get yourself a tiger eye stone or a tiger eye bracelet. Tiger eye earrings. <clears throat> and look up what the properties of a tiger eye curse flipped out. This person may, they may have been trying to do some sort of hex on you, some sort of witchcraft, or they could have, you know, tried to have a negative mindset. They could be afraid if they did try to do some sort of curse against you. Mm -hmm. Y'all, hold on. I forgot to take my, my medicine. Hold on. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, so um, this person... did some sort of this okay for some of you this person they does some sort of witchcraft for people to chase them this is why their ego is so big and they sit around and they wait for people to come to them damn and they have somebody around them that influences them so yeah that's that's influencing them to do witchcraft to get people to you know they doing all sorts of spell work wow so it's like i feel like you you've been you're spiritually protected now or you're spiritually awakened to these you know kind of tactics that people use in manipulation and spell work because it's all the same. It's, it's just manipulation of the mind. Okay. And people are actually out there doing actual magic. But these are ways that people steal your free will secretly. And whoever this person is. They. <laughs> whoever they are. They do this because their whole life. They've been rejected by people. It could have started off with their childhood. They could have been abandoned by their parents. 
their parents could have dismissed everything that they try to bring to them or talk about or discuss with them. They dismissed it. And this brought some sort of irrational fear. And see, whoever this is, they're not going to tell you this. They don't talk about this. And see, if they were with a parent who rejected them, they have no way to emotionally express how they, you know, I mean, express how they feel emotionally. They can't do it because they was rejected as a child. Okay? This is why the invoice, the, the, yeah, the, the, um, the silence, the escaping, the influences. Because for some of you, this person, they didn't grow up with their parents or their parents neglected them or something. And it and it has made them grow up to be the way they are. Yep. And see, when they're when you asking them questions and they can't explain themselves. This is why they leave. This is why they avoid you. This is why they blocking you because they don't know what to say. And then it comes off as them being mean and arrogant because they listen to people that's telling them how they should think because they don't know how to express themselves. So they'll listen to anybody telling them what to do. Well, man, um, shit, when, you know, these are friends around him that basically is is trying to influence this masculine to to like to avoid the questions but still have you hanging on you know um avoiding the the true nature of a relationship these influences and because this masculine he don't have you know um like, he probably didn't have a, a, a father who was loving and caring or a father who was stern and taught him the rules and told him things. And he probably didn't have a mother who was loving and caring and nurturing. So he's he's getting advice from his friends. And his friends is telling him, man, when they when, they, when my woman gets to talking shit, I just leave. You know, that's that's the wrong advice instead of talking something out. And that's what's going on with this masculine. Man, I just go find me somebody else. If one don't do something, then the other one will. That type of it. These are toxic masculine energies. And they could have been influencing this masculine to do this curse. And like I said, this is somebody, you know, they they do curses on 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 feminine energies. And then they do them dirty or whatever, close their emotions out on them. And they don't, you know, they're 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 arrogant because they're only arrogant because they're doing magic. Yeah, they're only arrogant. They have this big ego because they, they're using witchcraft. And when they do this witchcraft. This person, these type of male energies, they they know they're doing some witchcraft, so they be like, okay, well, I did the, the spell on, on Monday. She'll be back, you know, by Thursday. It'll She'll be coming back. And they sitting around looking at their clock, waiting. And this is something that they always do with the cycles out here. They do this all the time. They do magic on feminine energies, and they wait for them to come back. They wait for them to come. They could be doing come to me spells and all of that type of shit. Yeah. This could be the deception, the trickery. And if you if you're learning to protect yourself and block yourself from these type of energies, they can't affect you. They can do all the come to me spells they want, but it ain't gonna work. And it, it, if you go back to them, it don't mean that it worked. That means that you possibly cared about this person. You really loved them. And you went back. It wasn't no damn magic and shit that brought you back. Because some of you are aware of that. Okay. Hit that thumbs up button if, it's, if, if this story resonates with you. Hit the thumbs up.
Yeah, somebody reached their breaking point. Yeah. That's why this person, see, in the beginning, they were, <laughs> they were dismissing you, not talking to you, avoiding you, you know, wouldn't, you know, you ask them certain questions about things and they couldn't give you the answer. They wouldn't answer or they couldn't give you the answer. It's different for everybody. But because this person was doing some sort of magic, no matter what they did to you, they say, no, no, I don't care what, what, how dirty I do them. They still going to come back because I'm doing witchcraft on them. This is a warlock. Yep. So ladies, just be aware of this type of energy. If somebody do you dirty, don't go back. If you suspect they doing some sort of magic or witchcraft on you, take yourself a spiritual bath, cleanse your energy, burn you a white candle, get you an amethyst and a black obsidian, and you release their energy. And you call your power back from every person, place, and every entity. Every portal, time, space, call your energy back. Okay. Yeah, so you won't, you know, you're no longer conflicted when it comes to this person. See, when you was with this person, they treated you hot and cold. That's because they had multiple choices out there. And like I said, they do the same thing with everybody. This is something because they were abandoned as a child. They push other people away. And they do magic to bring them back. But you reached your breaking point. It was the final straw with you, with this person. And now they're overwhelmed. They're overwhelmed with looking at how much time then, then, then relapsed and, and you haven't came back. <laughs> yep. <coughs> this masculine is, is his, he's, he's, he, he has this look like. Me don't like this separation. <laughs> he don't like this separation. He don't like this blockage. Yeah, this is so crazy. These motherfuckers running around here. And they, they doing magic to make people fall for them. To make people like them or want to be with them. This is someone who has low fucking self-esteem. You got to do magic to make somebody love you, to make somebody want you. If you if you done some self-love karmic energy, then love yourself. It's as simple as that. Love on yourself. And you will be surprised at how many people you would attract to yourself. Instead of you doing some witchcraft, go take your ass to the barber shop. Go get your teeth cleaned, straightened. Put on some new nice looking clothes. Take a shower or a bath. Clean, clean yourself up. Put on some cologne. Get your face and hair trimmed, you know. And you don't know who you would attract. Okay, and make a habit of it instead of making somebody be attracted to you by using magic. That's unattractive. And then you'll have to keep paying somebody all that money that you're paying to pay somebody to do some spell work. You can pay and, and put that same money into yourself. And if you can be a, a magic manifest or a magician. Get yourself in the magician energy where you have all the tools, the resources, and the energy to turn yourself into the who, who the person you want these people to see you as. You can't, when you're you're doing magic on somebody, that's trying to get them, that's that's being fake. And then you you are you can are you what's the word? Um you're content with, with people. That really don't like you, falling all in overhead on that's in the back of your mind. 
They really don't care about me. I'm putting spell work on them. I'm manipulating it. And if you was to be your real self without the magic and clean yourself up, clean your energy up, stop being around toxic, low vibrational people, you will find somebody that will love you for you. And you won't go broke trying to pay for no magic to make somebody love you. If you got to pay, pay somebody, you know, to be with you or if, if somebody is with you and you got to give them money for them to be with you, that's not love. And nobody deserves that, karmic or, um, or, or feminine, I mean, divine. Nobody deserves to be treated like that. So, Auntie going to stop this reading right here. No, I'm not. 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 These are just Oracle. I got to I gotta get some Tarot. Okay? I got to get some Tarot. And I'm teaching myself Tarot. So, I need for y'all to tell me the Tarot part if it's resonating. Now, I want y'all to get in the comments, you know, represent your city and your state. Where you from? Put it in the comments. Okay? So, first, I want to, you know, I'm going to put some energy on the, the three overall cards that came out. Rejection, silence, and escape. Why, you know, why was this person rejecting you, becoming silent on you? But I already know this person, they had a a, a not so good childhood. And because they either grew up without their parents or without parent parental guidance, they started listening to their friends. Okay. And their friends, you know, influenced them to do the bad shit. So it had to be somebody out here who who got this masculine. How did he, how did, I want to know how did he come about doing the curses first off. Give me three cards for this curse. How did this divine masculine haste? King of Wands in reverse. High expectations. Yeah. Yeah, because these they he expected for you to, you know, it's like like I said with the curse. They're they're manifesting this. They're they're doing this shit. This person is ruthless. They're a natural born follower. Yeah, he followed. He followed his friends. He followed these in these influences. And these influences put him in the five of cups re reverse. Where the collective moved on because there's a lot of setbacks and delays. Yeah. And they was they're influencing this masculine to not feel disappointed. Yeah. This is crazy. They're influencing him quickly. Not to, you know, feel bad for doing what he's doing. Not to have no regrets for being deceptive. Give me one more. See, whoever this masculine is... When he was with with his um these with with his hanging around these people, these influences, he was secretly happy with his feminine. Okay, but even if something, you know, it was something that he he wasn't satisfied with. The Nine of Cups, you know, represents wishes coming true and being content and satisfied. But in reverse, it's it's not being satisfied, overindulging in emotions. So this this uh 
ruthless king of wands. They don't have to be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, somebody can be in the in a water energy out here also. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so the spirit is telling me it's is this person they're doing this magic, right? For one, they're ruthless when they do it. Two, they're, they they made a hasty decision to do this. Possibly because a divine feminine could have walked away from him and blocked him. This could be the energy going on right now. Right now, this masculine constantly probably trying to do some sort of curse on you, curse on you because the divine feminine moved on. Mm-hmm. He don't have no regrets. Divine Feminine wasn't satisfied in the relationship. But see, this masculine, he's hanging around these influences and he's pretending like he like he's, you know, um wanting to do this, but I mean to to block or however he did Divine Feminine. It's like he was secretly happy with this Divine Feminine. He was in a nine of cups energy. But he have to be dishonest and deceptive around these friends because apparently they don't have nobody that loves them or they don't have a divine feminine energy. And he's feeling, you know, trapped and restricted. And he's blinded to the fact that these people are doing this to him. Okay, um... There's a um, <clears throat> a long-term investment. There's a lot of arguments and conflict. See, this masculine, he's he's not satisfied with. How, what, how things are going. He's feeling stuck now. Mm -hmm. Trying to be perfect. See, he's doing he's doing magic to make, you know, women look at him in a, a perfect manner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he's not. Because if you have to do magic to make people see you, they're not going to see the real you. So basically, you're making people look at you as a false person because they're not seeing it, where you can actually be that person in real life. Why would you, you know, portray the image of being a loving, kind person and you're not, where you can actually be that loving and kind person? Self-forgiving out here. But instead, you, you, you uh, block communication be between you and your person and then expect for them to keep taking you back and instead of you you know actually talking to this person communicating with them expressing even if it's hard ask the most god ask the most high, the most high god to you know um help you with your emotions help you to be be able to express how you feel instead of listening to these haters out here for this masculine whoever it is now he's feeling stuck because he listened to them and then he's also feeling stuck because there's consequences when you play with and dabble with magic yeah how is the feminine energy feeling towards this masculine how does the feminine energy feel towards the masculine How does the feminine energy feel towards the master? Mm -hmm. 
See, whoever this feminine is, she's kind of undecided. You, it's like you, you, you're trying. You said, okay, you, you're giving this person one more try. This is, this is what, what you're doing this because he's doing some sort of witchcraft. Eight of Cups reverse, where you're undecided. That's because he's messing with your free will. Mm -hmm. Or he's some using some sort of manipulation tactics to keep you from walking away. He don't want you to escape. This person, yeah, they're they're very impulsive when it comes to this, and they try to charm you charm you out of your panties. Mm -hmm. And then when something don't go their way, they rebel. Mm -hmm. Yep. And like I said, this is somebody who, you know, when you try to get answers from them, they build a stone wall of silence between you. You can't get in, you can't get under, you can't get over, you can't go around. It's like they got you totally blocked. And they'll avoid you and they'll walk away from you when you're trying to get answers from them. So it's like, but when you try to walk away, they know what they're doing. They're doing fucking magic. They're doing spell work. Tell me more about this, this curse. Clarify the curse. Oh, wow. Okay. The Ace of Swords and Death. So you got the truth and clarity that this person is is doing witchcraft. Yeah. You got the truth. For some of you, this person, they may go through a transition. Endings, you could have ended it with this person when you got the truth and clarity. And for some of you, this person gone, it will pass away, and you'll know that they passed away because they was they did some sort of curse or hex on you, and it wouldn't reverse. Wow. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. This person is flipping out. Yeah, they didn't want you to have life. They didn't want you to heal. This is somebody with, you know, when you would be with them and you try to, you know, talk about going, being out in the sun, getting some of the sun, radiant sun energy. They would try to block you or didn't want you to. So you released them. And it was a it was a, a, a difficult situation for you to, you know, um, for you to decide to, you know, avoid this person because they had you feeling stuck. We have the fool out here. I see where you said you was going to give this. You, It's like you kept giving this person chance after chance. Chance after chance. And this last time, you rejected them. But see, it's like you gave them chance after chance. It wasn't you giving them chance after chance. It was them doing some sort of come back to me spell. Yeah. But then you, you know... You went through a transformation or a transition yourself, and you caused endings for this person. For one, you caused the endings by not going back with them. I got to put my other glasses on. Yeah, so now this person... They stuck. You're successful right now. Some sort of breakthrough is coming through for you. Mm hmm. And yes, this is the same cigarette. I am not chain smoking. My fan is on. You just can't see it. And it blew it out. Okay. 
Show me these influences around this masculine to where he was blocking divine feminine. Tower moment. Whoever these these whoever the the main overall influence around this person, um, they you know they they trying to cause a, a loss for this masculine, a lot of destruction in his life. Tell me more. They want him to you know something to be going through something. Soul connection. The lovers. New ideas. A new way of communication. Curiosity. A thirst for knowledge. Page of Swords energy. Stubborn. See, whoever this energy is, they stubborn. And they feel some type of way. Because usually you take them back. And like I said, you kept taking them back because... They were doing some sort of magic or something. Okay. And now you started protecting yourself. And it ain't working no more. And this is giving them a tower moment. But see, they was trying to run around and make it seem like that the relationship between you and them was a meaningful relationship. Where they were doing their little manipulation and shit. And you, you know, would still allow them back. It's like they'll be like, oh, well, I can fuck up today and I'll be back next week. I'll just give her a little time. To get over her anger. And why, why she's getting over her anger. I'll go out and fuck with Sally over here. That type of energy. I know she coming back. Because I done put a spell on her. Yeah, I'm a warlock. But she don't know that. She don't know that. Yeah. So what is the outcome for this warlock? They about to be financially co codependent on somebody. They about to lose their money. <laughs> yeah, see, whoever this person is that put this curse on you, they finna go through a, a real hardcore spiritual awakening. They're about to lose all of their material wealth. They're going to lose shit. And this is going to open their eyes. This is going to, they're going to have to have a rebirth. This is something they're going to have to go through. That's why Oscar just threw their ass in the tent. Right, Oscar? Yeah. Use a little bit of cancer Pepsi. You hear them birds? Now that's not a recording. Somebody is gossiping. Oh, they gossiping. Let's see what the gossip is about. You're going to hear some gossip. About this masculine or some sort of gossip you gonna hear, or you may have just heard some gossip. And it's like when this this gossip comes, it's gonna come in loud and clear, right? But then it's just gonna fade away. It's like, you know, just like you like the internet, how they how they manipulated us by using P. Diddy. Now you don't see P. Diddy all on the internet no more, do you? And that's because they was doing some shit in a, to some people in, a, in in Russia. While we focused on P. Diddy. What the fuck did P. Diddy do for you? Nothing. Why is everybody focused on P. Diddy? Because he black and he a rapper? He's just a low vibrational man who's out here doing the worst. He's a karmic confirmation. Yeah. But I ain't even gonna get on that. But yeah. Somebody is doing a lot of gossip. So let's see. What is this gossiping about? When it comes to this masculine. What are they gossiping about? About him losing money. Yeah. Unexpected income. 
he's about to be into some shit. You may be about to receive a letter or a, a message of concern about it. He's about to have a spiritual awakening. Yep. Yeah, he's about to have a spiritual awakening. This is this is going to cause him. Occupation. <coughs> this is going to cause... This, this this spiritual awakening is going to cause this masculine to wake up. He could be childish and immature, and he wouldn't change. Yeah, this is, yeah, he's about to, spirit is about to make this masculine work on himself. Yeah, yep, because he refused to change. And the same thing for the influences that's around him. They about to get a rude spiritual awakening, yep. Anchor. Yeah, this person was a, a, a wealthy man. He could work at a bank. He could uh, um, work for a mortgage company. He's wearing a false mask and it's about to come off. Or he could have be, been pretending like he was wealthy, like he had some money. He's about to be broken hearted. His heart is about to get broken. Yep. This, this masculine, he may lose all of his money to where he have to go stay with his child. Yep. See, whoever this, this energy is, see, when I look at this anchor, this is like, I heard the Holy Spirit, you know, it's like letting this person float away. They letting them go. Yeah, this is what's gonna spiritually awaken him. Yeah. He's gonna he's gonna make him or her, take it where it resonates, get in the star energy. See, the star is is it brings renewed hope and faith in a sense that you're truly blessed by the universe. And see, whoever this energy is, they don't realize that they was blessed with their looks or whoever they are, that they're unique or whatever they do. So instead of them allowing the world to see them and love them for who they truly are, they chose magic. So now they was paying for the magic and they're about to be stripped of their finances. Yep. Because they wouldn't change. Yep. They're about to be stripped of all their financial wealth. And if this happened to you, this person caused it. If you had a nice home and it was fully furnished and you had good things, nice car, and somebody did something or is doing something to try to make you lose them things, this person is going through a financial struggle right now. Yeah, and they're broken hearted. Because they wouldn't change. They wouldn't stop chasing people. They wouldn't stop doing the, the um, spell work and shit. They wouldn't stop causing pain for people. They wouldn't open up. See? Unexpected income in reverse. And now this person, they trying to be strong and they treated you cold. Mm-hmm. They going through some shit right now. Mm. Look at that. Upside down cross. Yep. Because they let the devil fool them. Mm-hmm. And they wouldn't change out here. They done conjured up some sort of spirit. Here's the ex-girlfriend, ex-wife. Now, if this not happened to you, collective, it can be a feminine energy can be doing this to your masculine. But whoever it is, they finna, they finna suffer from a, a, a financial downgrade. While you are having a successful life, breakthroughs, truth and clarity, and then once you started protecting your energy, this is why the shit is happening to them, because they was sending it to you. They wanted you to be having financial difficulties. They wanted you to be in a, a broken heart energy. Yep. They wanted you to be feeling rejected while they chase other people. So Holy Spirit is slowing them down. If this reading resonated with you, then go on ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next reading. Tell them bye, Oscar.
Asuka says, see you later. Peace out.